Welcome to this technical support how to video guide. Today we'll be showing you how to change the veins on a Panther 56 pump. To do this job you will need a 4mm Allen key, a pair of long nose pliers and a set of replacement veins. Begin by using the 4mm Allen key to remove the four bolts holding the cover plate in place. When all four bolts are removed, simply lift the cover plate out of position. Now use the long nose pliers to remove the rotor and vanes from the shaft of the pump. The vanes are spring loaded, so they will eject from the rotor if you do not hold them in place. Remove the five vanes from the rotor, place the rotor back in the pump. When placing the rotor back on the shaft, observe that the dot pointed out here is showing. If it's not, you have the rotor upside down. Before installing the replacement vanes into the pump, observe the schematic diagram on screen. Note the ro rotation of the rotor is in the anti-clockwise direction. The vanes themselves have chamfered edges. It is important that the vanes are installed in the correct position otherwise the pump head will not rotate. Take the first vein and partially insert it into the rotor of the pump. The spring on the vein should be tucked into the recess. Do not push the vein down the whole way at this time. Instead, rotate the rotor and compress the spring before pushing down fully. Repeat this process for the four remaining veins until you have the complete set installed. When you have installed all five replacement veins, check against the photograph on screen that the chamfered edges of the veins are matching up with the diagram on screen. The red circles around the vein indicate the chamfered edge. When all of the veins have been replaced, replace the cover plate, secure with the four cover plate screws using the Allen key to tighten. When you have done this, the job is complete. 